Let's review Indonesian suburbs. Keep in mind I spent like 2 hours in Citaraya, so this is just a first impression kind of thing. One of the strangest things about living in Gading Serpong is that Mall SMS, a very large mall located right next to a bunch of apartments and housing clusters, has very little transit connections. Outside of rush hour, there's more service at Citaraya with one bus every 2 hours compared to the local housing clusters that get like one bus every 4 hours, and that's only to the Sumarekon part. There's also no direct buses to either Jakarta or neighboring BSD. Oh, and the sidewalk in front of the mall looks like this, and this is good for getting standards. Let's go to Citaraya and see how transit and walkability is like there. And to test that, we're gonna walk from the Putra Kajiu Terminal to Multi Putra Tangerang. And as you can see, it has a sidewalk, a wide one in fact. Something that getting certain clearly. Oh wait, never mind. Oh, this is awkward. Well, at least the new mall is surprisingly nice. And what's also nice is that most houses are located within walking or cycling distance from a grocery store. Now, Citra Raya is a very long city which makes setting up some kind of public transportation system easy since everyone and everything is located in or near a single corridor and you do see Angkots pass by maybe once every 5 to 10 minutes. Again, something that all of Gading Serpong doesn't have except the parts north of SMS. When it comes to outside connections, Citaraya also has the most extensive network of shuttle buses going all over the place near and far and most importantly, they run every day. Frequencies vary as some lines have departures about once an hour or a day while others might only have two departures. Again, for a scheduled point-to-point -point service, that's good enough. If you're wondering, from Citaraya and using the Trans Citaraya buses, you can go to Citaralen aka Drogol, Block M, Manga 2, Tanabang, Sunen. There's also a Putra KJU, a bus operator that provides more short-haul, all-day, everyday services to Gading Serpong, Downtown Tangerang, Karawachi, and BSD. I'm guessing part of the reason why Citaraya has this is out of necessity, being too far from any Trans Jakarta or KRL commuter line, and even drivers have it bad here due to how far it is from the highway. I think this highlights the biggest problem with transit in post-pandemic getting Serbong, and that it only runs Monday to Friday at peak periods, which is a shame because before COVID happened, Gading Serpong had an equally great network of shuttle buses, at least the ones going to Jakarta. We were never really good at providing local transit, with mostly all-day everyday services to Citraland, Grogol, Klapa Gading, Manga 2, Sudirman, Lebak Plus, and the airport. All of that transit died when the pandemic hit, and unlike Citraraya, Gading Serpong never really bothered to bring it back apart from a select few services during rush hour. And that's how Gading Serbong ended up with transit so bad, the neighboring suburb had to provide it for you. Citra Raya gets a seat here for both walkability and transit. And I'm not done with Gading Serpong, as since I live here, I am absolutely obligated to give an extremely in-depth review, analysis, and commentary of the walking, transit, and even cycling situation here, so we'll have to wait for my verdict on that. But most of you voted for me to talk more about the Boker line, so I'll prioritize that first.